of adventure today and we're gonna eat some food, but not just any food, special food. <laughs> Uh, okay, I don't know if special is the word I would have used there, but we are going to try some food, the majority of which I don't think we've ever had, so I'm excited about that. And then we can let you guys know whether or not it's worth your time or your money, and I guess we'll let you know whether it's special or not. The first place we're going may shock some people because we haven't necessarily spoken highly of it in the past, but that's Cafe Four. So some things have changed since the last time we were in Cafe Four. Apparently it is mobile order only now. So I walked in like very confused trying to find the line and the nice people that work here were like, oh no, sweetie, like you gotta use your phone. But we did get the vegan eggplant parm and it actually looks pretty good. But what's weird is like after you mobile order now, they used to just let you like type in what your table number is. But now I guess there's some kind of like weird technology you just like hold your phone next to a little tag on your table and it did it itself so that was pretty cool i will say for i think it was like 12 dollars. this is a big plate of food but here we go i'm impressed this is substantially better than i thought it was going to be it's also substantially better than any experience i've had with their pizza um the spaghetti is okay like I don't know that I've ever really had theme park spaghetti. It's fine, but the eggplant with like the veggies on top, it's good and crispy. It's a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. We try not to hold grudges around here. Keyword there being try. Um, <laughs> we've held a grudge with this place for a while now. It's not bad. Like, it's not great, <laughs> but it's not bad. It's better than anything else I've ever had here. Uh, that's not really a high bar. I think I remember these being awful. I, I, yeah, I remember that too. <laughs> Vivid memories just going through my head. I keep going back, so obviously it's not, it's not that bad. Uh, I don't know. There's something about it I like, uh, once again, not a big fan. I think that'll be the last bite of that I take. I haven't even tried the spaghetti, I've just been eating this, but what am I gonna give it? Uh, <laughs> I guess I guess we'll go with the theme of today, Anna. Six out of 10 specials. That's, <laughs> I'll give it a six out of 10. Oh, there's a new snack stand over here in Marvel. That's super exciting. Like, I can't wait to see what they're gonna have on their menu. But at the same time, there's so many snack places here in Marvel Island. I'm shocked that they're adding another one. Like, there's ice cream, there's Annie Ann's, there's a little snack cart behind you. There's two over by the bridge, but I'll eat it. Now it's time for a favorite snack. Why? Okay, so a little bit of a bummer. Uh, no pizza pretzel. No. Everybody probably knew that's where we were headed. Um, you may see in like some of the clips that I have, there's one sitting up top. He mm. said that had been there since um, opening. So we didn't really want that. Anna, I, I, th I thought about, I thought about telling him that I'd yeah, take it. Anna was almost like, I mean, we'll take it anyways, won't we? No, it's no. It's so we, good. We asked him if they'd have some more coming uh -huh. out. He wasn't really sure. Yeah. Um, but it's like, it's seriously, we don't even have to try it. It's a 10 out of 10 specials. <laughs> um, it it yes, is it that is. good. I did have a thought. Okay. So you were talking about the new stand coming over there and like you're not sure because there's so many snack things. Uh huh. The thing is the last time that we got like a stand that just popped up like that, that wasn't like a refurbishment of another one. We got the crepes. I'm not saying it'll be crepes. I, I have no idea what it'll be, but what if it's something that's like crepe level of good. <laughs> now I'm excited. They could do like, I'm trying to think of something that would be really good to put there. Like Marvel themed crate <laughs> uh, would be awesome. You get the Hulk, got like avocado in it. Like, okay. <laughs> I haven't thought about the full menu, but we'll we got the Hulk one down. We've got the Hulk one down. <laughs> uh, let's go get some more food. <laughs> So this is the Beef Bulgogi Rice Bowl from the Comic Strip Cafe. You've probably seen us get the ramen from here and not be very impressed, but we kept <laughs> having people in the comment section and everything tell us that we had to try this. Even though we probably wouldn't have because the ramen wasn't great. But it looks really good, doesn't it? Like, it looks great. 
Uh, so I'm actually excited to dig in. Is this like kimchi on the side? I think so. I won't mix it up because Thank you. I was about to mix it up. <laughs> I won't do that for you. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> All right. Um, it's fresh. And they just got it off the grill. Yeah, it's way better than the ramen. It's actually pretty tasty. It's almost like it's like smoky and sweet, almost like a teriyaki type thing. I'm gonna say it one more time, way better than the ramen. Um, and I'm glad somebody suggested it because we would have never come back here to try it. What do I give it on the special scale? <laughs> I'm gonna this like a seven and a half on the special scale. It's not bad at all. That sounds very special. Okay. It's pretty good. It's not like great. I would say for a theme park, this is very, very good. Much better than I expected it to be. I feel like this is something that I would get again, too. Like it's got some good flavor. The piece that I had actually had a tiny bit of spice in it, not much but it's a lot more flavorful than I would have ever expected. I also ordered some yuca fries because I was interested to see how those would be, but they said they were gonna make some fresh ones because the ones that they had had been sitting there for quite a while, so it's I'm gonna- It's like a theme for today. <laughs> that is a theme for today, just food that's been sitting around. Uh, but, but I'm gonna go back up there here in just a second and see if they're ready. <laughs> it's like four of them. <laughs> yeah, but they, they're thick, Daddy. Like, they're big, thick french fries. Yuca fries. Whatever fries. Looks like potato. But is it potato? The question is, does it taste like potato? I mean, you it probably won't because it's not potato. <laughs> okay. That's pretty potato-y. Mm. Like, you could convince me that this was potato. It has a slightly different taste, like almost a little like sweetness, I guess, maybe? but you could convince me that this was a french fry. You disappoint me sometimes because you missed it. <laughs> you said you could. You could. You could. <laughs> you could convince me that it's a potato. You, you disappoint me every <laughs> once in a while. I'm just like, it was right there. And you just decided to just miss it. It's okay though. I was somewhat enjoying these and then we saw how much they were. These were $5.49 without our discount. So that saved us like 50 cents. So they were $5. Did we get five fries? Yeah. A dollar a fry? No, 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 no. That hurts your special scale. In my opinion, um, $5, like, there's just not enough there for $5. Like not even close. Uh, like, do I even have to rank it? Because I'm going to be mean now. <laughs> like, the taste is fine. Like, the taste, it's like a seven, seven special. The value is like a two special. So, yeah, I, I'd probably, probably just save my money and get something more special or somewhere else. <laughs> so, we just realized that we messed up. Um, we skipped one of the food items that we were supposed to get in Marvel Island. I guess we got so excited about like running to the pizza pretzel and then they didn't have it and all that drama, but we gotta go back to the Captain America diner. When we were walking over here, Captain America was outside and he told us to come in here and get this sandwich, so we have to. Why does that make me laugh that like the chicken is sticking out over here? I, I don't know. But this is the hot honey chicken sandwich here at the Captain America diner. It looks pretty good. Captain America himself kind of likened it a little bit to Nashville hot chicken. And I could be wrong, but I don't think Nashville hot chicken sandwiches normally have cheese on it. So I think that is a little bit strange. I'm gonna bite from the back because I don't want a pickle. But... This is actually really good. So I'm not a huge like Nashville hot chicken person because it's too spicy for my liking. And I really didn't get any spice with this like at all. You can tell it has like pepper jack cheese on it and then the honey itself is supposed to be spicy. So if you really want something spicy, I don't know that this is gonna hit that mark, but it is really, really flavorful. And the cheese paired better with the honey than I thought it was going to. 
It's actually a good chicken sandwich. <laughs> I don't know why my mom came out right there. It's like something my mom would say. Good chicken sandwich. Like that was. Y'all, y'all haven't had the pleasure of meeting my mom, but you kind of just did. That's uh, exactly something she would have said. The only thing that's weird about it to me is that it's like it's shaped very oddly, right? <laughs> like it doesn't match the bun. Yeah. Because normally it's like a chicken breast that's mm -hmm. on there. But as far as flavor, this might be the most special thing we've had all day. <laughs> the only really bad thing I can say about it is it's almost dry. It could almost use a little more honey or something or like a different sauce altogether. Yeah. Some kind of spicy sauce to bring it together or maybe like just mayo, just some something else. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what it needs. But that, but as far as like, seriously, as far as a chicken sandwich that I've had here in the parks, I'm trying to think of if there's one that I've had that's better. It's probably the best chicken sandwich I've had in the parks. Um, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go seven specials on this one. I, I keep forgetting that we're doing the special scale and it just sounds so <laughs> weird every time I give it a special rating. I know you're making fun of me because I pulled the chicken out of the sandwich. No, that's probably how it, it's probably like the best like that. It is so good. This is a really good piece of fried chicken. Like, this is some quality fried chicken. If you want good fried chicken, come over here to the Captain America Diner because this is great. I, that was probably the best thing we've had today like it oh, was actually sure. it was shockingly good yeah it was delicious if you get it i have two things i might suggest one either just like pull it off the bun and just eat it as a chicken tender because it was really good like that or ask for it extra saucy like i don't know if they'll do that but those, are, those are two things that could help it. hi can i get it extra saucy please This is a lot of food, like a lot more than I thought this was gonna be. Like this does help explain some of the cost because I think this was like $19 or something. Which, 20, 19.99. Yeah, splash zone. It's $20, but I mean, that's quite a few ribs. Um, they also look saucy, so this is about to get messy, but I just gotta dig in. These are the charbroiled ribs at Thunder Falls Terrace in Jurassic World. So this is an item that used to be on the menu and then they took it away for some period of time and it's just recently returned. So these are like a fan favorite. We've actually never eaten them before, but people rave about how good they are. Mmm. These are delicious. It's kind of like a, just a traditional barbecue sauce. Nothing special about the sauce whatsoever, but the ribs are cooked well. They're not like, I wouldn't necessarily call them fall, like falling off the bone, but they're very tender. The meat's good. I can see why people talk so highly about these because uh, like these are some of the better ribs that I've had and it's here at a theme park. There was actually a pretty long line in there and we just decided to mobile order because we thought it'd be faster and it was. I, I don't think people are taking advantage of mobile order. So if you're seeing this video, you're here and it's crowded because the parks are relatively busy today, just mobile order. It saves a ton of time. This is like the second video in a row that we've basically done where mobile order has just saved us tons of time. What I'll say about these is I remember there being like almost a giant uproar <laughs> when they went away. And now that they're back, People aren't flocking here. I mean, it was busy, but you would think when you complain about something being gone, when it comes back, you you all get here. But yeah, we've never had them before. But this is a lot of food. Like, <laughs> you've got the potatoes, you've got the corn. For $19, I think two people could share this. Oh, absolutely. So you'd both basically eat for under $10? Yeah, like I could see that being a thing. Like if we were really hungry, the, the sad thing is, or if they have to go boxes, we need to test that here. <laughs> we need to, we need to test that here because I, I, we're not gonna eat all this. No. Like I'm already like we haven't eaten all of anything, yeah, and I'm already starting to get full. So uh, we need to see. We'll see if they got a to-go box. Update. No to-go boxes. I'm kind of sad. Me too. Because this is all really good. Like I took a bite of the corn. The corn is delicious. I took. Uh, I was gonna say just a bite of the potatoes, but I would be lying if I said we didn't eat all the potatoes because we, <laughs> we did because like we've said before universal does potatoes right but the ribs are, are good this is a good meal it's a really good meal i really feel like 
like a family of three could probably share this too. Like yeah. I know I said two earlier, but, and maybe it's just because we've had all the other stuff, but I'm <laughs> very full. I, I don't know, this is, this is now the new best thing that we've had. <laughs> um, how many specials does it get? How many specials does it get? I'm gonna give it like eight specials. <laughs> like I, I would 100% come up, like if I was one in ribs, Yeah. are these the best ribs I've ever had? No, but like you gotta think about it in the, in the grand scheme of things, you're at a theme park. Like I get to sit here and watch people get splashed in the splash zone while enjoying these. I would definitely come over here from the house and get ribs if I was like craving ribs sometime. These are great, yeah. Eight out of 10 specials. Can you believe there's a dessert in Hogsmeade that we haven't had? Girl, I am excited about this cake right here. So this is the chocolate trifle cake from the three broomsticks. There's chocolate cake, there's chocolate icing on top, there's cream in there, there's strawberries. There is no way that this isn't absolutely delicious and it blows my mind that we've waited this long to get it. Ooh, she's a little messy. <laughs> she's a little messy. Mm. <laughs> mm. It's been in the refrigerator, so like it's nice and cool and refreshing, but it's also got like really rich chocolate in there. I didn't actually get a strawberry, but I still got like a hint of strawberry flavor. This is amazing. Like this is very, very good. I kind of want to get a strawberry, but I also don't want to mess up the way it looks. I mean, we're going to eat the whole thing. <laughs> you don't have to call me out like that. You know how I'm weird. It's fine. <laughs> It is good. I'm trying to decide whether I like it better than the butterbeer parted cream. I know that's Ooh. like a, I know it's a big statement to make because I love the butterbeer parted cream. We almost, we probably need to go in there. <laughs> no, this is really good. How long have they had this? Is this like new? I don't think so. I How have we not seen it before? I don't know. I'm gonna eat all the strawberries apparently. Hey. The last two bites, it's Thank not my fault. I haven't had one. There's at least one more. It's fun. <laughs> this is so good. It's like really well balanced because it's when you first bite into it, it almost tastes like it's gonna be really rich, right? Like you you're gonna have to have something to drink immediately. But like the fruit and the like cream and stuff in it kind of lightens it up. I don't know. This is a great dessert. Uh, we're always looking for good desserts in the, the park because like you can get like some sugar bombs here and there, but you never find like a a really good dessert and I think we might just have like this is really spectacular this is good um I don't know what else to say I'm shocked I'm kind of once again I'm upset that it's taken us this long to get it <laughs> I guess we kind of have to give it a special it's just special <laughs> it's just special um nine specials nine nine a lot of specials that, that's a lot it is <laughs> you know I don't hand those out easily <laughs> How did this turn into a thing? I told you we were gonna get some special food today. <laughs> what a delicious day. <laughs> if you guys would like to see us do the same thing over at Universal Studios, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And I guess let us know in the comments down below. Uh, if you wanna check out like a full like food tour of Islands of Adventure, make sure to check out this video right here. But thanks for hanging out guys, and we will see you in the next one. The next one. Have a special day. Bye. Bye. <laughs>